Hello, George Romanich here. Today we are continuing with exploring Coriolis force. The problem for today's lecture is uh, extremely simple. Now you see it on your screen. Coriolis acceleration is equal to omega cross V. I derived that explicitly. Omega is angular velocity of the Earth, and V is velocity in respect to the Earth's surface with minus. So this is equal negative 2. Now we solve this using determinants. So we will have I, J, K unit vectors over here. Components of omega we know from my previous videos, at least I will not rederive that over here. It has no component in the zonal direction. Component is omega cosine phi in the meridional direction and omega sine phi in the vertical direction where phi is latitude, positive in the northern hemisphere, negative in the southern hemisphere, and omega is intensity of uh, angular velocity of Earth. And components of our wind vector are u, v, w. So this is equal negative 2 that multiplies. In the i direction, I have uh, w omega cosine phi minus v omega sine phi, so that's in the i direction, minus in the j direction, I have 0 minus u omega sine phi in the j direction and in the vertical direction I will have 0 minus uh, u omega cosine phi in the k direction. Well, in principle, we could stop here, but of course, we need to just uh, make this expression a little bit nicer, so to speak. So we introduced these classical substitutions that f is 2 omega sine phi, and this is called the infamous Coriolis parameter. And we introduce substitution that f prime is 2 omega cosine phi. You will notice that Coriolis parameter is negative in the southern hemisphere. I have a, a problem in this series that demonstrates that explicitly. But F prime, which also means, by the way, that horizontal actions of the Coriolis force are opposite on the northern and southern hemisphere. But in, in terms of F prime, because cosine of positive or negative angle is uh, the same number, cosine doesn't depend, depend on the sine of the angle, this will be the same for northern and southern hemisphere. At any rate, taking these substitutions over here, we can see that Coriolis acceleration therefore becomes, here I will have negative this term, So that will give me, and here I will have positive this term because two minus signs. So I will have here Fv minus F prime W in the I direction. Now minus and minus will give me plus, but this minus will result in minus at the end. So I will have minus F u in the j direction, 
And by Fu in the j direction, I mean Coriolis force in the acceleration in the j direction. Negative, and this negative will give me positive. So I will have positive F prime u in the k direction. And these are components of Coriolis acceleration on, uh, in our atmosphere for our planet, where you can see that uh, these two terms only have one factor that is important, but the I component has two factors. And in fact, uh, they are not symmetric necessarily. In, in general case, not symmetric for northern and southern hemisphere, and I demonstrated that in previous problem in this mini-series on Coriolis force, where this term you can clearly see uh, for the same V and W is not necessarily the same for northern and southern hemisphere because F uh, changes sign between hemispheres. However, F prime doesn't, and that results in different uh, results. However, because vertical motions in atmosphere are generally very small, we tend to neglect this term and this term in atmospheric sciences. So I could even write that A Coriolis, typical uh, I don't know if I spell this correctly, is equal typical is Fv in the i direction minus Fu in the j direction. This is what you will typically see if you study atmospheric sciences and oceanography, but this is the full expression that takes into, uh, into account vertical component of Coriolis force and the action in the vertical direction. Until next video, goodbye.